Well, this teenager right here, he was GTCC's mm -hmm. outstanding graduate. He plays the cello, he plays sports, video games. He wants to be a neurosurgeon. <laughs> And he's 13 years old. He's an incredible kid. You may remember Cal Burgess Hicks as Van's weather kid back in December. Well, I sat down with him to pick his brain about why he's so interested in the brain. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Cal Burgess Hicks never went to fourth grade. I found out that the harder I worked, the more I succeeded, the more I advanced. He ended up being homeschooled. I play cello, and I also take piano lessons here as well. And he doesn't have a high school diploma. I learned Latin, uh, a lot of science as well. But he is fluent in four languages and conversational in four more. Korean, English, Spanish, and uh, French are my fluent ones. And then conversational is Arabic, Russian, Italian, and Portuguese. He has another four he's familiar with. But at the age of 13, what he knows for sure is what he wants to do. She gave me this book on uh, Benjamin Carson, uh, and that's when I really decided that I wanted to pursue neurosurgery. He's done and knows so much, he tends to leave some of it out. Like when his father had to remind him he was Guilford Technical Community College's outstanding graduate out of 2,000 people before he even became a teenager. Oh, yeah, I was that. <laughs> what level on Zen am I supposed to be on today? He started with dots on a shark, and by the end of the year, he was already doing addition, multiplication, and everything else, and I was kind of like, okay. So what's the question? Nine plus what number? About ten years earlier, his dad, Zach, gave him a tablet with a learning app on it. And wanted to see how far he would go just sort of riding around in the car in the back seat. And the, last, the next time I checked it, he was in fourth grade math. The work ethic aspect of Cal's life was not taught. It was a trick. We never told him that was the work. We always just said this was fun. Here, you want some free time? Have a math book, right? It's fun, they're puzzles. At the end of the day, math is, is puzzles. So it wasn't until he went to public school that he came back and said, Dad, Somebody told me this is work. <laughs> we had to be like, no, they're wrong. This is fun. In fall of 23, that fun landed him on the campus of High Point University as a full-time student. I'm able to uh, face any obstacle that I come through and knock it down every single time. With that same goal of becoming a neurosurgeon. The human brain is one of the most complex and undiscovered organs in the human body. School's never been a challenge. Balancing it with his extracurriculars of golf, swimming, tennis, water polo, and everything else is. Others present themselves in dated ways and thoughts. They still see him as a child. They treat him as a child. They change their expectations uh, when, when encountering him and can be dismissive. As for what'll be Cal's several degrees, he'll probably end up with his next college degree before he gets his high school one. North Carolina law does not allow me to get a high school degree until I'm 16. Neurosurgery is, is the stars, right? Always aim for the stars, always. If you land lower than the stars, you're probably still in the sky. So that's where we're shooting. How many languages do you speak? One, badly. Now, Zach says he thinks there are a lot more children out there who can do what Cal's doing, but he says the system isn't really set up to find them and then help them through that process. But out of Cal's eight languages, he says his favorite is French. He should teach his dad a thing or two. <laughs> I'm sure he does every single day. It's crazy uh, just having those conversations with them, you yeah. know, and, and they stay so busy. He's constantly doing something, but he said yeah. he really likes to, on his free time, when he has time to just sit around and chill play Dungeons and Dragons. So he's there still very go. much a kid. Yeah. It's very cool. A true 13 year old. <laughs> well, thank you.